this video I will teach you how to draw a cola bottle in 3D in BrickSket. First we will draw the outside profile and then revolve it. Then we will draw and adjust some details, make the bottle into a shell and assign a material to it. Ok, let's start with the outside profile. For this we will start by drawing a rectangle of 30.50 by 212.50. Then we will draw a polyline starting from the upper right corner of the rectangle. First go 12.50 to the left and then 14 downwards. After this go 0.50 to the left and 6 downwards. Then go 5 to the left and 19.8 downwards. Then 8.8 .8 to the left and 17.9 downwards. Now 3.7 to the left and 16 downwards. Then 1.1 to the right and 40 downwards. Then 1.1 to the left and 73.8 downwards. Then go 5.8 to the right and 21.9 downwards. Then 9 to the right, 1.6 downwards. 6 upwards and 15.7 to the right and after this just close the profile. Now we will need to draw some arcs in between some points of the polyline we just drew. So go to arc and select this as your starting point. Then press R for radius and we want the radius to be 40. Then select this as your end point. Okay, we are going to draw the following arcs in exactly the same way. For this arc we are going to take a radius of 200 and close it. For the following arc we take a radius of 40 again then for the first arc at the bottom we take a radius of 45 Then a radius of 6. And for the last arc we want a radius of 25. Okay, now we need to explode the polyline because we want to delete some of the lines. So delete the following lines. And then join all the lines of the profile we have now. So select them all and type in join. Okay now select this closed profile and click revolve. This is the axis we want and we want to revolve it with 360 degrees. Okay, then we get this solid. Now we are going to fillet some edges. So click fillet and select the following edges. Press enter and type in a radius of 0 0.24. Press enter again and the edges are rounded now. Okay, now we are going to model the grip part of the bottle. For this, draw a rectangle starting from the bottom left corner with dimensions of 61 by 25. And then at the bottom of this rectangle, we are going to draw an arc. Press R for radius and enter 46. Okay, now explode the rectangle and join the following lines. And then move this closed profile 40 units upwards. Now we need to extrude this profile. So in the ribbon you find extrude, press create and extrude it to a chosen height. 
We want this solid to go all the way through our bottle. So we are going to pull the bottom surface so it does that. Now subtract this solid from the bottle. Okay, now we will do kind of the same, but then a little bit higher. So draw a rectangle again. This time with dimensions of 61 by 20. And then draw an arc, but this time at the top of the rectangle. Again with a radius of 46. Then explode the rectangle. And join the wanted lines. Then move this profile to the following points. Okay, again we are going to extrude this profile. And then pull the bottom surface so it goes all the way through the bottle. Now we want this solid to be rotated 45 degrees. So select the solid, press rotate and select the axis with these two points. Okay, select the start point and type 45 degrees. Now subtract this solid from the bottle. Now we want to project a circle on the two surfaces of this grip section. So for this we are going to start by drawing a circle with a radius of 30 units. You can just do this at the top of the bottle. And then in the ribbon we are going to choose Project Geometry. Then select the circle and select the solid you want to project it on. And then select the direction. So now you see the circle is projected on the surfaces we wanted. You see that the circle is also projected on some other parts of the bottle. We don't need these projections, so just delete them. To help us a little bit with modeling the grip section, we are first going to draw a rectangle and make that into a region. For this start from this point and make the rectangle 30 units wide and the height just has to come above the grip section. Select the rectangle and type region. Now we can use the intersection points of this region with the projected circles to draw an arc. So select arc, select your starting point and pick a radius of 110. Then select this as your ending point. Now we are going to mirror this arc to the other side. So select mirror and define the mirror plane. Then press no because we want to keep our entity. And then rotate the region by 90 degrees because we want to create intersection points on the other side of the bottle now. So select the rotation axis, starting points, and type in 90 degrees. Now we are going to draw an arc again in between these intersection points, but this time with a radius of 76 units. And then mirror this arc again. A 
Okay, delete the region because we don't need it anymore. And now we are going to use the lofts command to create a solid in between these two circles. So these circles represent the cross sections. Then press enter and click guides. So the arcs we just drew are going to function as guiding lines for our solid. So select the arcs and then press enter. So now our grip section is fully modeled. We are just going to fill it the outer edges to finish it. So go to the ribbon and press fill it and then select the outer edges. Choose a radius of 0.3 and then press enter. Now we are going to start by modeling the bottom parts in more detail. For this, draw a line starting from this point. BrickSket doesn't snap to it right now, so we have to go to the snap settings and turn on the quadrant snapping. Okay, so now it snaps to the point. Choose an angle of 57.75 degrees and make the line 19.5 units long. Then draw a line perpendicular to this line. So for this we also turned on the perpendicular snapping. Then type in UCS to change our coordinate system. Choose this as the new x-axis and this as the new y-axis. So now this is our new xy plane. Now in this new xy plane draw a circle with a radius of 3 and the origin as the center point. Then move the circle along the x-axis with 2.80 units. Then draw a line parallel to the y-axis and make this line long enough. Move it a bit so it's in the middle. And then move it 17.2 units along the x-axis to the right. Okay, now we are going to draw a line again starting from the origin with an angle of 22.5. Again, make this line long enough. And then move it 3.8 units along the x-axis to the left. And then move it parallel with the y-axis till it intersects with the circle. We need the same line on the other side, so we are going to mirror it. First make the other line a little bit longer. And then we are going to trim some unnecessary parts. So type in trim, select all these parts, press enter and select the unnecessary parts then. Then we have the full profile and we are going to join the lines and also type in region to make it into a region. We will need to sweep this region across an arc. So now we are going to draw this arc. For this we will first change our coordinate system again. So choose this as the x-axis and this as the new y-axis. The arc needs to start 6 units above the x-axis, so to help us a little bit, we are first going to draw a rectangle of 6 units high, so the width doesn't matter. Then press arc and start from the upper right corner of the rectangle we just drew. Because the cursor selects the surfaces constantly, I'm going to hide them for now. For the arc, choose a radius of 36. Okay, 
you can show all entities again now and type in sweep and select the region press enter and the sweep path is the arc we just drew press enter and you get this solid we want to create a polar array of this solid but for this we first need to change the coordinate system again for the new coordinate system we choose this as the x-axis and this as the y-axis this is to make sure the polar array is created in the right direction so choose polar array and select the base point then select items and type in 5 so this gives us this array we want to subtract this array from the bottle first we need to explode it for that Okay, then press subtract, select the bottle, press enter and select these solids. Now we need to fill out all the outer edges of these cutout parts. So press fill it and select all the outer edges. Then as a fillet radius, choose 5. Okay, so then the bottom part of our bottle is finished as well. The bottle is still a solid now, but we need it to be a shell with a specific thickness. So for this, go to shell in the ribbon and then select the bottle. Then it asks for surfaces we want to remove, so select the top surface and choose one as a thickness. Okay, so now you can see our bottle is hollow. Now we are going to model the top part of our bottle a little more in detail. So first we are going to create a border for our cap. For this we are going to draw a profile and revolve it. So first change the coordinate system again. And then start drawing the profile. We are going to do this with polyline. Start in this point. Go one unit to the left. 1.70 upwards. Then 1.70 to the right and 0.50 again to the right then go 7.75 downwards then 3.45 to the left 2 upwards 2.25 to the right and then close the profile now we are going to fill it some corners of the profile for this first explode the polyline and then go to fill it First, choose a radius of 1.70 for this corner. Then for this corner, a radius of 0.50 and for that corner as well. And then change it to a radius of 1 for this corner. Okay, we need a closed profile again, so join all these lines. And then revolve the profile around the center axis. For this make sure to press create, because otherwise it's going to unite with the solid of our bottle. Okay, we are quickly going to subtract the solid of the bottle from this border part just because it overlaps a little bit when we do this the solid of the bottle will disappear so we are first going to copy it in the same place so it stays and then go ahead and subtract the bottle solid from the border part
Now we are going to model the spiral part on which the cap is screwed. So for this we are going to draw a helix. To define the bottom plane of this helix we are first going to draw a circle with the same radius as the upper part of the bottle. Then move this circle 1.5 units downwards. Then choose helix. Find the base point, so that's the center point of the circle we just drew. And the top and bottom radius are the same radius as the circle. Then choose sturdens and give in 2.4. And then choose stern height and type in 3. So then we get this helix. We have to move it so it starts at the circle, so like this. Now we need to draw a profile to sweep across this helix. So for this start with a rectangle of 1.15 by 1.50 then draw a line starting from this point with an angle of 165 and then draw the exact same line starting from the other corner now connect these two lines and remove the rectangle and then join the four remaining lines to create a profile. Then move this profile with its midpoint to the starting height of the helix. Okay, you can show all entities again now. Now select the profile and type in region. Now we want to sweep this region across the helix, so for this type in sweep. Select the profile, press enter, and then select base points. Choose this as a base point, and then select the helix. Now you see the profile isn't swept across the helix like we wanted it. It's swept backwards. So to counter this, we are first going to mirror the profile before we sweep it. So select the profile and choose mirror. And then try sweeping it again. So we are again going to select this as the base point. And now you see it swept correctly. Now we are going to finish the edges of this screw part a little bit. For this first type in chamfer, press the distance option and for the first distance choose 0.35, for the second distance 1.97. Then make sure this plane is selected and then select the wanted edges. Now we are going to fillet some of the edges, so type in fillet, pick 10 as a radius and then select the following edges and press enter. Now type in fillet again, but now choose 8 as a radius and then select this edge and press enter. Okay, now we are going to do the exact same at the other end of the screw part. So I'm going to fasten this a little bit. Now we need to fillet the outer spiral edges. So type in fillet again and choose 0.25 as the radius. Then select all the outer edges. Okay, so now you can see our bottle is almost done. There are still some 2D entities in our drawing, which we don't want. 
So we are going to open the structure browser and delete all the unwanted 2D entities. Also, we didn't make the bottle completely hollow. As you can see, there are still some surfaces inside. The only way to delete these surfaces is to explode the solid of the bottle. Then go to wireframe. And now we can select the surfaces and delete them. Okay, so now when you look into the bottle, you see it's completely hollow. Now the only thing left to do is assign a material. So for this, go to the material tab, select everything and type in plastic. We are going to choose a transparent plastic. So just drag and drop it on the solid. And now you can see everything is in plastic. We are going to remove this plastic material from the part where the label is and just give it a red color. Okay, then move the coordinate system far away so we have a clean drawing. Okay, this was the tutorial. I'm going to give you a last look at our final bottle. And thank you for watching.